Boy, what a long day, Dinah. You're lucky you can sleep all you want. I've been getting up an hour early all week to rehearse for the school play. Not that you've noticed. You don't even twitch a whisker when my alarm clock rings. <laughs> Boy, being in a play is hard. If you ask me, it shouldn't be called a play. It should be called a work. But right now, I'm ready for a different kind of play. TV, Hat Television. All hats, all the time. Tune in tomorrow when Hat TV presents Hat Chat, the talk show where everyone speaks off the top of their head. Hi, Mr. Hatter. What are you watching? <clears throat> just a little Hat TV. There's one channel just about hats? Yes, isn't it incredible? You'd think there'd be at least three or four. Hatter, do I smell cookies? Uh, <clears throat> it's hard to say. No, it's not. In fact, I'll say it again, Hatter. Do I smell cookies? I do. Chocolate chip, I think. Oh. Whoa, are the cookies in here? There must be dozens of them. Whoa. <laughs> not anymore. Hatter, there are hardly any left. Did you really eat that many cookies all by yourself? If I ate that many cookies, I'd get stuck in my teapot. Well, I had no choice. My dear old Granny Hatter sent them to me, so I have to eat them all. Otherwise, she might think I didn't like them. <clears throat> Such a sweet old soul, and her heart I long to please. It simply would be cruel of me to not eat all her cookies. She loves to bake for me, it's her favorite thing to do. I wouldn't want to hurt her feelings, and they're very tasty too. I did it for dear old Granny, I did it just to be nice. I did it for my dear old Granny, and now my belly is paying the price. Sometimes they're chocolate chips, sometimes they're peanut butter. They always taste so good, I eat one after another. Can you really blame me? I'm sure you understand. I've got the sweetest dear old Granny in all of Wonderland. And so I did it for dear old Granny. I did it just to be nice. I did it for my dear old Granny. And now my belly is paying the price. Oh, boy. So... You only ate the cookies because you love your granny? Right! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and because they're delicious, too. But come on, can you blame me? Granny Hatter's cookies are close to my heart. I'll say, they're just below it. <laughs> what, that? Oh, that's nothing. Mm. I just need to button my vest, that's all. <laughs> This vest must have shrunk in the wash. Or maybe you grew. <laughs> Nonsense. I haven't gained an ounce, and I'll prove it. Crystal! Whoa! Too many cookies. Maybe Crystal's scale isn't working. Fat chance. And I agree. <laughs> okay, maybe I have gained a little weight. It's no big deal. I just uh, need to go on a little diet. Right after I finish the rest of these cookies. Mr. Hatter, I don't think eating more cookies is going to help you lose weight. You're right, Alice. But I can't help it. <laughs> Whenever I see cookies, I can't resist eating them. <laughs> cookies are just too tempting to pass up. <laughs> when you really like something, it is hard to resist temptation. <laughs> you know, maybe if I don't have the cookies, I won't be tempted. Here. 
as my friend, I'm asking you not to let me have any more cookies, no matter what I say. No problem. You can count on me. Except, well, maybe I could use just one last nibble. Okay. Wait! Mr. Hatter said don't give him the cookies, no matter what. Yes, but I can't refuse a friend. No, Hair Alice is right. You can't give me the cookies, no matter how much I beg you. Okay? Okay. No, here, I don't want these cookies. Then you should stop asking for them. It's really quite confusing. Look, I've got an idea. Why don't you just hide the cookies so Mr. Hatter won't even be tempted anymore? That's a good idea. Hide the cookies. Oh, you want to start that now? Oh. 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 Hey, those veggies look good. Oh, yeah, good and good for you. Here, have a radish. Thanks. <laughs> yes, sir, nothing like fresh vegetables for a healthy snack. <laughs> Especially if you pretend you're eating cookies. Mmm, <laughs> chocolate chip. Chocolate chip! Oh, I thought carrots only came in carrot flavor. They do, unfortunately. I'm on a diet, but all I can think of is eating cookies. Hmm, you don't have much willpower, do you? What do you mean? Willpower means being able to do anything you want by just putting your mind to it. Then I don't need willpower. I need won't power. I have to do something so that I won't be tempted to gobble cookies. Hey... Why not keep busy, so you won't think about eating? Keep busy? Doing what? This always works for me. You could play with a rubber mouse. <laughs> play with a rubber mouse? How silly. Besides, all we have around here are rubber chickens. Oh, all right, all right, all right. But you know, the cat might be right about keeping busy. In fact, <laughs> I'll just unpack this box of packs. Pretty soon I won't be thinking of cookies at all. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Chocolate chip. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. I've got to find out where the hair hid my cookies. Yeah! not looking for cookies. That's for sure. Speaking of cookies, Hair tells us your granny doesn't like to see a hatter go hungry. Hey, it's no big deal. Oh. I just need to lose a couple of pounds. That's what we're here for. One good way to lose weight is to exercise. And since we have some exercise equipment, we're here to help you. Well, thanks for the offer, guys. Oh, come, come on! on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Wait, 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 what are you doing? All right, Hatter. All right, all right. First, we're going to do a few stretching and warm-up exercises. Then we'll jump some rope, lift a few weights. Then we'll go for a good long run. All in one day? Why, you're going to work and stretch until you can barely move. Boy, I hope it's as fun as it sounds. Moving right along, how to jump to it. 
My brother and I will show you how to do it. You, you need, need to, to get, get in shape, shape. so get a move on hatter. <laughs> You've got to exercise if you don't want to get fatter. Jump and rope in the mud and start the day off right. Once you get moving, you'll see the light. Or you can get exercise from something as easy as going to the park and throwing a frisbee. You, you need, need to get, get in shape, so get a move on hatter. You've got to exercise if you don't want to get fatter. Get up off your seat and go for a run. We'll show you that exercise is nothing but fun. You need to get in shape, so get a move on hatter. You've got to exercise if you don't want to get fatter. You need to get in shape, so get a move on hatter. You've got to exercise if you don't want to get fatter. Now, Hatter, it's important to warm up before exercising. You mean we haven't started yet? So let's stretch those muscles a little bit. All right, touch your toes. Gee, Hatter, don't wear yourself out. Oh, nonsense. What's the point of exercise unless you work at it? So now what? Well, how about lifting weights? Nope, don't need to. I've already done some lifting today. No offense, Hatter, but lifting the cookie jar doesn't count. All right, look, forget about lifting weights. Why don't you just go jogging? That's great exercise. Jogging, as in a nice little run around the forest. Yes. Excellent idea. And it's the perfect way to top off this great workout. Thanks, guys. If you ask me, his idea of exercise is lifting a teacup with one hand and a cookie with the other. Well, at least we got him to go for a run. <laughs> yes, sir. There's nothing like running. Especially when you're in a hurry to find cookies. <laughs> Oh. Hello, Hatter. Hello, Hare. Still trying to hide the cookies, I see. I have to find just the right spot. Oh, you go right ahead. Because I'm not even the tiniest bit tempted to eat cookies. You see, I've got plenty of won't power. I thought it was willpower. It's both. You see, I use my willpower so that I won't eat cookies. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, that's the way that works. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, so long. In fact, you know, now that I've decided to diet and exercise, I'm a very healthy hatter. So I could probably have a cookie without even worrying about it. Maybe. But I can't give you any. After all, you were the one who said to take these cookies hey, and hey, 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 you know, Let's not quibble over what I did or didn't say. Let's just celebrate the new me with, say, a few cookies. You ask me, the new you still looks like the old you. Here, come on. Just one little cookie for your buddy. For old time's sake. Please. Pretty please. Pretty please with chocolate chips on top. Hatter, look over there. Some friend he is, hiding my cookies just because I asked him to. Excuse me, hell. What are you doing? Uh, looking for somewhere to hide Hatter's cookies. Why? Uh, well, you see, Hatter's trying to lose weight. And he asked me to hide these cookies so he won't be tempted to eat any of them. He's trying to get in shape, eh? Well, actually, he's already in shape. It's just that the shape he's in looks like a beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, because I exercise, I am in great shape, as you can see. <laughs> well, I really wouldn't know what shape is correct for a... Caterpillar. This is the correct shape. And speaking of exercise, 
exercise your imagination while listening to this story. <laughs> Once there was an elephant named Lucille who was so out of shape that she couldn't keep up with her herd. And if the herd needed to really run, Lucille really got left behind. Lucille was tired of being out of shape. But she thought that exercising was too hard and no fun. Then, a friend of Lucille's named Roxy offered to exercise with her. Roxy convinced Lucille to go with her to the jungle gym. Lucille and Roxy exercised hard every day. <laughs> And soon, Lucille was in great shape. From then on, Lucille didn't have any trouble keeping up with her herd. In fact, the herd had trouble keeping up with Lucille. Great story. Oh, and speaking of exercise, I'd better run along. I need to find the perfect hiding place for these cookies. Perhaps... You should let me hide them then. I assure you the hatter won't find them if he looks around here. I bet he won't. But no thanks. I think I'll look for a hiding place that's a little safer. <sighs> well, try to do a favor for a friend and that's the thanks you get. All right, Your Majesty, your turn. Good move, Alice, good move. Oh, whose side are you on, Rabbit? Yours, of course, Your Majesty. <laughs> but you must admit Alice was very clever. Oh, quiet. I'm trying to think. Ooh. Now what? Well, far be it for me to interrupt your game, Your Majesty. But. Are you sure you want to make that move? Yes, I'm sure. In fact, I'm sure I'm sure. No matter what I do, it's been thought through and through. I've got a clue, a view, to what will ensue. I know what I'm doing, yes sir, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, every move I make, every step I take Has been evaluated, calculated, totally anticipated I know what I'm doing, yes sir, I'm sure, I'm sure In any circumstance, I work it out in advance It's no coincidence, I leave a nothing to chance Up to date, I never hesitate. I know what I'm doing, yes, sir. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. So you see, I don't need anyone's advice, especially on a simple game of checkers. Your Majesty, it looks like I win again. Oh, how wrong! Oh, I wouldn't have lost if someone weren't distracting me. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Looking for a place to hide Hatter's cookies, since he doesn't have much woke power. Woke power? Don't you mean willpower? No, because the Hatter won't stop eating cookies without my help. I think the will and willpower means your will, as in your mind, not will as in the opposite of won't. Well, I have a very strong will, and what I won't have is the Hatter running around my palace looking for cookies. But it's only for a little while. And this is the perfect hiding place. And, Your Majesty, if this is indeed the perfect hiding place, then the Hatter won't know to come around looking, and if he doesn't come around looking, he can't oh, possibly... Oh, all right! Uh, Put them under my throne if you want. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you, Your Majesty. You're more than a queen. You're a pal. Don't push it. Don't worry, Your Majesty. I'm sure Mr. Hatter is so busy with his dieting and exercising, he doesn't even care where his cookies are hidden. Mm. Hmm. Let's see. If I were a cookie jar, where would I hide? already. <laughs> Not so fast, Hatter. I'll take these cookies if you please. Looks like you got caught with your hand in the cookie jar, Hatter. Fortunately, I rigged this cookie jar with my patented anti-cookie stealer alarm. I guess the idea of eating cookies was too tempting, huh? Yes, Alice. I admit it. For days I climbed trees, swam rivers, and ran all over Wonderland just to try and find my dear old Granny Hatter's cookies. But does that make me a bad hatter? Well, I don't see what all the fuss is about. You don't look like you need to lose weight to me. What, are you kidding? My belly is as big as a basketball. <laughs> Wait. How did that happen? Mr. Hatter, you're back in shape. What? What? I can even button my vest again. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't exercise. All I did was run all over Wonderland looking for cookies. But don't you see, Mr. Hatter? Running all over Wonderland was exercise. Alice is right. You got back in shape without even knowing it. Oh, about that, you're so smart, you fooled yourself into exercising. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now that I'm back in shape, I guess there's no harm in eating a few cookies. Oh, but Mr. Hatter, don't you want to stay in shape? Mm, I guess so. <laughs> and now that you mention it, I do feel pretty good. That's because it feels great to be in great shape. <laughs> A fatter, hatter, we did not want to see Bring back the old waistline, we all agree From head to heel, we like that I appeal It's great to be in shape It's not too early and it's not too late It's great, great to be in shape Come one, come all It's great to be in shape Dina, it's hard getting up so early for play rehearsals, but I really want to be in the play. So I'll just have to use a little willpower to get myself out of the house tomorrow morning, no matter how much I'm tempted to stay in bed with you. 